Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and this is a proof of concept video I'm building to show that an existing InfoPad Designer form solution can in fact be rebuilt using PowerPaps. Um, for the sake of this example, I'm using my SharePoint online or Office 365 SharePoint environment, but the very same can be done on SharePoint on-prem as well, um, as long as you have the gateway installed and configured over there. Um, also, you will have to have the necessary um, Power Apps pricing uh, model for your um, environment. And this, and this is just a quick overview of what are the different pricing plans for that. Okay, so um, in this environment, uh, I have two lists which I've uh, set up, and both of them are actually identical. Um, this one over here is the new project request, and that list um, is has all the columns um, and everything that I need. Um, and so now that I go ahead and add a new item, this list has the custom InfoPad form that I've built. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add or create a new item. And in this case is testing my new project request form. The request in this case, I've set it so that by default, it is the one who has created it. And that's me. Uh, project start date, let's start tomorrow. Project end date, let's go right up till Jan uh, February, say February the 28th. Um, department put that as human resources project type let's make this as a new project and to automate enrollment and i will go ahead and click submit so now that i hit submit you see a new item shows up over here um and so uh basically this project request goes through different uh, departments um which will go through their own uh, change management process so now that i've put in the new item i can go ahead and edit the item and you will see that the project uh, view has changed again this is um, a pretty typical uh, way you build a form with infopad designer depending on now that you're editing an item i was able to change the view of the form um, and so this is what happens um, so let's just assume that i'm going to now play the role as um, a committee member project manager funding expenses and i'm going to go through each of those sections or form views uh, and fill them out so first is committee in the committee i say yes i have approved it i'm going to put today as the approval day uh, put in everything looks good um, also um, in the future i will be building um, a um, a workflow and that's when I'll compare to see how a SharePoint designer workflow can be rebuilt in a power apps flow um, so this section will actually make more sense over there but just for the sake of consistency I will go ahead and check this box that yes uh, send committee approval email All right um, so let's go ahead and finish the others as well funding funding standards approved um, I don't want to put any comment, but yes, go ahead and send the approval email. Project manager. I will select myself or add myself as a project manager. Assignment date. Let's put that as today. No comments and send out an approval email. And then finally is the expenses. Then the expenses, let's put the hardware expenses as thousand software also as a thousand consulting as two thousand send the approval email and then we've got everything done and I go ahead and submit that so here it is this is uh, once again a new item that we filled went back and um, edited the item and all of this was done using custom info pad designer form um, and in the form as we saw there were different views and there was also sub views for each of the sections like the project manager the finance and funding and the committee um, so that's just an example of an everyday infopad designer form um, and now we will take a look at how something similar can be built using a power apps form so now i'm going to show how the same solution can be built and you and go in there to my power apps As you can see, it is loading. 
And over here, I have the new project request power app. So let me go into that. And I'm going to put in another request over here. So let it finish loading. All right, so let me go ahead and put in a new request. And the form has a pretty much similar look and feel, but let me put in the request because the initial form had only these fields, even in the InfoPad Designer form. So I'm going to put in uh, this is a new request. Requester is me, and over here I'm going to make full use of the IntelliSense. So type that in. It's loading. And give me my name as an option. So that's what I'll select. Project start date. Let's start that as tomorrow. OK. Project end date. Let's go all the way to February 28th. OK. Department. Let's put that in as I believe we selected human resources. Project type. This is new. And the business benefit we had given was to automate process. There you go. So now I've gone ahead and submitted my new request, just like we did in the InfoPath form. So that was pretty simple. Um, so now let's go ahead and pretend that we are the other committee members and go ahead and populate all those fields as well. So now when I go in, yep, that's the view. I go ahead and edit. As you can see, we have another form view, and this one looks very similar to what we had on InfoPad Designer. That's because the Power Apps does give you that functionality. So I'm now going to go in the committee sections. I click on committee, and it gives me another view over here. Um, so I will go ahead and put that as today is the uh, tomorrow is the approved for this committee. Approved by the committee, yes. <clears throat> yes. Committee comment, I'll leave that as blank for now. And then send committee approval email. This is very similar to the checkbox we had on the InfoPad Designer, but over here is just the button and, or the switch. And I do that as yes. And let's pretend that we're going to go ahead and finish the other three as well. So let's go funding. Funding status, approved, leave the comment. Project manager. Again, um, I'll select myself as the project manager because that's what we had to do on the other form as well. And the IntelliSense gives me the options, date, um, and yep, let's do that. And then finally was for the expenses. Okay, Let's see a thousand over here was. Um, another 1,000, 2,000, and then you will go ahead and send this as well. All right, so everything is good, um, and there you go. That's the checkbox. So, you know, this is just is another good proof of concept, which I did just to show that what we had on the InfoPad Designer form, which we were able to build based on when a new item was created, we were editing an item and how there were different form views in the InfoPad Designer. We were able to do the exact same over here on this Power App where when we went in, we were able to create a new project request and we had this one view. Um, after that, when we had went ahead and edited, there was a completely separate view and then there were also sub views over there for each of those committees. Um, so this is just a really good proof of concept that um, what solutions that you have on InfoPad Designer can in fact be rebuilt on Power Apps. So stay tuned for my Microsoft TechNet article where I'll be walking through this in much more detail. I'll also walk through the, uh, the steps of how I build the Power Apps and um, hopefully that will uh, help you. Thanks.